Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC that consists of these uh, two triangles. The right triangle uh, ACD and this other tiny triangle uh, ABD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side AB length is being represented by Y. Whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, 2 times Y. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, ACD is uh, 20 degrees. And this angle uh, CAD is a 90 degrees angle. And finally, this angle uh, DAB is being uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, angle uh, x uh, value. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle CAD. And now let's recall the angle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. And here we can see in this uh, triangle uh, CAD, this angle is uh, 20 degrees, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 70 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, is uh, Y and this segment length is uh, 2 times uh, Y. In other words, uh, this uh, side uh, is uh, twice uh, this uh, side length. So therefore we are going to go over the basic uh, concept and let's focus on this uh, circle with the center P whose uh, diameter is uh, CD. And here we introduced uh, these uh, two chords uh, AD and uh, AC. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem if uh, AC and D are uh, three distinct points on the very same circle and the line CD is the diameter of the circle. Then the angle uh, CAD is going to be a right angle. In other words, uh, the angle is going to be a 90 degrees as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see we got these three distinct points uh, ACD on the very same circle and uh, CD is the diameter, then this angle uh, CAD has got to be a 90 degrees angle. And here we can see this uh, diameter uh, CD has uh, radii lowercase r and lowercase r as well. And if we connect uh, this uh, vertex A with this center P, as you can see in this uh, next step, then we can see that uh, this AP is also going to be the radius uh, lowercase r as well. In other words, uh, this segment uh, DP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PC is going to be equal to this segment uh, AP. And now let's revert our attention back to our this problem. And since this is our 90 degrees uh, angle and we have introduced uh, this circle with the center P such that these points uh, A, C and D lie on this circle. Then we conclude that this uh, diameter C, D is indeed is going to be our diameter and this uh, point P is the center. So therefore uh, this is going to be our radius uh, and this is going to be our radius uh, as well. And we know the diameter of this uh, circle is 2 times Y. So therefore uh, this radius uh, dp is going to be y and this uh, radius is going to be y as well. Now I'm going to connect uh, this uh, vertex A with this uh, center P. As you can see in this uh, next step, then we can see that uh, this uh, AP is going to be the radius as well. So this is going to be y. So therefore we could see that uh, this segment uh, DP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PC and that is going to be equal to this segment uh, AP and we also know that this is going to be equal to AB as uh, well since this is Y. 
And now let's focus on this uh, triangle APC. And we can see that this is our isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. And now we know that this angle is 20 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 20 degrees as well. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see our angle C is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these two angles A and B are our opposite interior angles, such that uh, angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus B. And here we can see this is going to be our exterior angle. That's going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. Both of them are 20 degrees each. So therefore, this angle turns out to be 20 plus 20 is going to give us 40 degrees. And now we are going to focus on this triangle ABP. And we can see this is our isosceles triangle as well since uh, this side length is y and this side length is y as well. So therefore we conclude that this angle which is 40 degrees has got to be congruent to this angle. So this angle is going to be our 40 degrees angle as well. And here is our final step. Now let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle ABD. And the interior angles of this uh, triangle are 40 degrees and this angle is uh, x. And now let's recall once again the exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. And here we can see this is our exterior angle and that's going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore I could write down this angle uh, x uh, plus uh, 40 degrees uh, is going to be equal to our exterior angle uh, 70 degrees. Now I'm going to subtract 40 degrees from both sides to isolate x. This 40 degrees and negative 40 degrees they are gone. So therefore our uh, angle x finally turns out to be equal to 30 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x turns out to be 30 degrees. In other words uh, this angle has got to be a 30 degrees uh, angle. And that's our final uh, answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.